The Nintendo Switch already has an amazing library of games to play and the future promises to bring even more great games. So today, I will be showing you 10 upcoming Switch games that I am excited for. I'm ranking these games based on how excited I am for each game and that alone. This list is purely opinion based. That being said, I hope you find a game that you can be excited for as well. Let's get started with number 10. Pine is very interesting to me. I love open world games, so naturally this game appeals to me. The art style is gorgeous, and I really love the atmosphere of the game. I wasn't that excited for it at first, as the gameplay looked really stiff. But when you look at more recent gameplay, it's a lot better. The animations look smoother, the combat looks improved. I mean, I'm always itching to play a new open world game, so I'm hoping Pine will be good. However, we still don't know anything about the story in the game, and I could easily see the game having performance issues on Switch. So I'm interested to see where the game will go, and I think it has the potential to be great. It's crazy to me that this game was created by a development team of only 7 people. The game is set to release in August of 2019, which is not far away at all. But since we don't have a definitive release date yet, I could see it getting delayed. But I'm all for a delay if it makes the game more polished in the end. People have been asking for the Spyro Reignited Trilogy to go on Switch for a long time. I still think it should have been released on the Switch day one, but it's nice to finally be getting it. I've never played any of the original Spyro games, and I've held off playing the Reignited Trilogy because I was guessing it would go on the Switch eventually. And now it is, so I can finally play it. From what I have heard, it's a really great remaster of the original Spyro games that are great platformers. Plus it's three games in one, so you're getting a really good deal. It's releasing on September 3rd of this year, so we don't have to wait that long to finally play Spyro on the Switch. New Super Lucky's Tale was announced at E3 this year, and I'm actually really excited for it. From what I can tell, not many people online have been talking about this game, so let me explain why I am excited. Super Lucky's Tale was originally released on the Xbox One, and was met with some unfair criticism in my opinion. IGN gave it a 5 out of 10, which is just ridiculous. Maybe the reviewer was having a bad day or something, because the game was not that bad. It did have some problems though. Stiff camera controls and slow movement options, but it didn't deserve all the hate that it got. Now the game is hoping to get a second chance on Switch with lots of improvements. Now there is a fully controllable 360 degree camera, and Lucky has a lot more movement options. The developers really seem to understand their fans and are trying to make the game as good as it can possibly be. The game looks like pure platforming fun to me and I can't wait to play it. It releases sometime this fall. A Hat in Time is a Kickstarter success story. I think it's one of the few Kickstarter projects that had a lot of hype behind it that actually delivered at least from what I can tell. Once again, I've never played this game, but it seems to be one of the best 3D platformers in recent years, and it also looks very cute, which doesn't hurt. I've heard nothing but good things about this game, so I was very happy when the game was announced for the Switch. I love 3D platformers just as much as the next guy, so I can't wait to play this game. There is no official release date, not even a release window, so all I can do is hope that it arrives soon. Mario & Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games is the party game I've been missing on the Switch. Outside of Super Mario Party, there's not that many good party games on the Switch, so this game will be a great addition to the Switch library. It also looks to be bringing back some of the Wii motion controls, which I love. This type of game just wouldn't be the same without some motion controls. The game also looks like it's adding a lot of new and original sports, which is great. I think I'm going to have a ton of fun with this game. It releases in November of this year, which is kind of silly, seeing as how 2020 is in the title, but it releases in 2019. Pokemon Sword and Shield has been getting a lot of backlash on the internet right now, but I'm still really excited for it. I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan, I've only played one Pokemon game before, which was Sun and Moon on the 3DS, so it's not like I'm a long time fan or anything which I think might be part of the reason why I'm not very upset over all the things that other people are upset about. Everyone is getting angry about some Pokemon being left out of the game, but since I haven't played much Pokemon, it doesn't really affect me. I really like the atmosphere of the game, and the graphics don't look that bad to me. Really, I'm just excited to play a new home console Pokemon game, and I can't wait to play it. Since I didn't buy the Let's Go games, this will be my first home console Pokemon game. It's set to release on November 15th, 2019. My opinion on Luigi's Mansion 3 has been completely flipped. When the game was first announced, I was not looking forward to it that much. I thought the graphics looked basic, and I just wasn't feeling a new Luigi's Mansion game. But at E3 this year, my opinion totally changed. The graphics and atmosphere had been vastly improved, and while I was watching the Treehouse gameplay, it just hit me. 
I really want to play this game. Nintendo fans are always saying that Luigi doesn't get enough attention, so this game helps solve that problem. All of the new mechanics for this game look amazing as well. I also love that the game is not level based like the second game was, and it just looks like this will end up being one of the Switch's best games. It releases on October 31st, the perfect release date for a spooky game. Link's Awakening is one of my most anticipated games for 2019 because I love Zelda games and, more specifically, I love 2D Zelda games. With the Switch taking over for the 3DS, I was getting really worried that we would not be getting any more 2D Zelda games, and luckily, I was wrong. What makes me even more excited for this game is that Link's Awakening is one of the few Zelda games that I haven't played before, so it's basically a new game for me instead of a remake of an older game. I didn't like the art style at first, but I've grown to like it over time. It really fits the atmosphere of the game well. I will always be excited for a new Zelda game, and Link's Awakening is considered to be one of the best Zelda games, so it's really a win-win. The game releases on September 20th of this year, so really soon. I'm just so happy to be getting a new Zelda game this year. Animal Crossing New Horizons is the Animal Crossing game that I've always wanted. Every single thing about the game looks downright amazing, and I'm beyond hype for this game. The Switch is the perfect console for an Animal Crossing game, as you can play it portably or on a TV. Personally, I prefer to play Animal Crossing on the TV, but I know a lot of people like the series better in handheld. I thought Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS was a good looking game, but it pales in comparison to New Horizons. The game has the potential to be my most played game on Switch, as I can see myself sinking a ton of hours into this game. The idea to have your own private island is genius, and the crafting system fits Animal Crossing so well. I love all the little improvements that they have added, like being able to place furniture outside and having real paths. I just can't express how excited I am for Animal Crossing New Horizons. The release date for this game is March 20th, 2020. It's a little bit disappointing that the game got delayed, but I can wait. A sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I still can't believe that this game is real. When it was first announced at E3 this year, I just sat there in shock. A sequel to one of my favorite games of all time. Breath of the Wild is easily the best Switch game in my opinion, so getting a sequel to that game is just perfect. I just love everything about it. The darker atmosphere fits so well and gives off some serious Majora's Mask vibes, which is great. Even though it's still very far away, the very thought of the game makes me unbelievably excited. The game seems to be much more story focused, which is amazing, as story was one of the few weak points in Breath of the Wild. We have no idea when it will be releasing, but I'm guessing it's going to be a while, but I'm okay with that. One of my favorite parts about a new Zelda game is all the pre-launch hype, theories, and speculating. We really don't know much about the game at this point, but just knowing that it exists is enough for me. This is definitely the upcoming Switch game that I am the most excited for. Well, there you have it, the top 10 upcoming Switch games that I am excited for. The future of the Switch is looking very bright and there are so many cool games to be excited for. Is there a game that you're excited for that I didn't mention? Leave a comment and tell me. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.